Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I'm going to do the last instalment. Oh dear, just a minute. Just, this is not good. Um, I'm charging my phone while I'm recording. <laughs> and the silly thing's fallen down. Just a minute. Just stay there. Just behave yourself. Okay. Oops, you see it pulled the telephone. There we go. Sorry guys. Everything's good. Right, so we're doing the last instalment of Tina's thing. Tina, 3 and 30 minutes. And the um, the letter is Z and the topic is Zazzy, so blingy. Um, anyway, that's what Tina told me. I never, I didn't know. Um, so I put my timer on. And all I can really do is boho. I don't use glitter or anything like that. It gets in my eyes and goes everywhere and makes me crazy. So what I did was I pulled out my um, Medieval Mirage. Now, in my living room, I had these two kits. I think I forgot to use them when I made... Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't think I did use that one when I made my sister's um, Boho Journal. But anyway, let's see what's inside. Um, see, I, yes, I totally forgot to use this one. I'd left it in the living room under something when I, and I didn't use it and because um, I'd taken it in there to cut everything but I, what I want is a paper I'm thinking I might make something out of a piece of paper I think I did use this one isn't that pretty what is that piece of paper that piece of paper and that piece of paper we'll use so what I'm going to do I think I've got a vague idea better get a move on because time is ticking away. I've got, I've got to remember I'm not just doing one project. I've got to do three things. So I better whiz around here. I'm going to glue these together. I probably should have brought myself over a new glue stick as well. That would have been the smart thing to do. But anyway, get out of practice. I haven't done one of these for a while. Okay. Right. Let me just see here. Which is the one that don't, it doesn't really have an up, so that's good. And um, so it was recommended to me to um, have a basket with all of my bits in, and um, and so I'm doing that, and I'm really enjoying it because I can find things. I just chuck it back in the basket when I'm a good girl, and I can find things. And now I don't think I'm going to tear this. I'm going to cut it. Okay, I, won't, I probably won't go very straight. I don't even think I glued them that straight. And I'll have to check that I've trimmed off the edges on the other side. my inside. Now, I might whiz around that quickly with the sewing machine. Turn your volume down if you don't like the sewing machine. I highly recommend you turn your volume down. And I'm going to have zigzag, and I'm just going to quickly zigzag around it, as you do. Turn the machine on. I'm quite happy to do this because um, I would like to make another boho journal at some point. Don't know when. Now what I'm thinking is I might um, fold this in, maybe not too far, and that will be a pocket, and then that will be. I 
have trouble knowing which way is the up. I think it's that way. That's it. So that's going to be the front. So this could be like a little folio sort of thing. And I'll just stitch, quickly stitch that down. I could have done that as before. I should have thought about it. Kind of making a little folio sort of thing here. Don't really know what it's going to be, just making it up as I go as you do. Okay, and then I'm going to get some bling. Now, just a minute, let me just look in here in the medieval mirage business here. Um, what sorts of things are in here? If there's anything here I might like to use somewhere. You probably can't see, can you? I have a tendency of not sharing things and just keeping them to myself off screen. No, there's nothing there. It's all plain. I don't want it plain. I want something I would like. Oh, I know what I'm going to use. Flowers. Now, where's my flower box? Over there. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're telling me to get a move on. Chug a lug. Okay, here I am. I've got a few flowers in here, not many, because I've been using them, but I think I would like some of these nice big flowers that I had in here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use some flowers. Okay, that's good. Put that over there, and I need to somehow incorporate some blinginess, some bling bling. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? That's very blingy. Ooh, look at that. It's really sparkly, that one. Oh, I'm getting tangled. I don't have time to be tangled. Oh, I like that on there. Maybe I could make that like a pocket. Yes, I think that's going to become a pocket. I like that. There we go. Put that over there. I might not need the flowers. I'm going to have a blingy pocket. I'm going to stitch that on there. So this could easily just like be a page in a journal. It's got the bling there, and we might put some a little bit of bling, not too much inside somehow, um, without going too much over the top. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't actually have that much stuff, do I? I thought I had more. Oh, that's very blingy, isn't it? It's heavy. That's beautiful. It's heavy. There's this. Mm. That could be nice there. Maybe or over here. So that's a pocket. Isn't that gorgeous? I think I might like that there. I put that there and then I might um, westernize it a little bit with a bit of lace. I'm really taking a long time, aren't I? Oh, only 10 minutes. I've only been 10 minutes. So I can relax. Let's just cut but not relax too much. But I can relax a little bit. I don't know if I want this, but I just want to see, because I like the, that way. Put that there. No, that's not it. Let's just see, maybe I'll get, grab a piece of lace from under here. Let me see, what do I have? Oh, what about a piece of this? This is the best stuff, I love this stuff. I put it everywhere. My own screen, yes. Yes, I think I like the contrast of this and then that. Yeah, put something like that. Okay, so I need my, I do need my PVA for this. Good thing I had it there upside down because this one's nearly finished. So, this 
smoosh that around. Never wet one. Glue that there, and then I need to get some glue onto this. Grab the book over here. You can tell I'm in a hurry. Gosh, it might take me half the time to get the glue on it. So my take on Zazzy is going to be obviously blingy boho because, um, as I said, well, you know, I have lovely beads and stuff, but, you know, sewing beads on takes a long time. You'd be surprised how long it takes to sew beads on. So this obviously will be a bit lumpy bumpy in a journal, but, you know, that's what happens when you've got bling. It's bumpy. So then you need one of those... Um, raggedies like a raggedy board like what um nick the booksmith makes there we go so that's done there's my first piece it's uh, it's really like a journal insert i love that i absolutely love it love that okay what's next well next what could we do we could make a pocket so i just finished stitching this i didn't finish it yesterday so we'll use that one I was putting off doing this oh a piece of it sort of ripped because it's very brittle paper so these sorts of things when it's brittle like this I like to stick it down onto the page so um, it doesn't you know like it doesn't have any troubles then if you stick it down onto the page now we need some papers I've got papers here I might as well use up some of the scraps isn't that beautiful paper I just love it so I'm going to collage it Isn't that pretty? And I'll put something up there. Got my glue book. Got my glue. Very disorganised. Yeah, I was putting this off um, this video because um, I'm not zazzy. There's no zazziness, so um, I was worrying about it. But anyway, I just see. I just sort of at, just willy nilly just turned on the camera, and I usually works out the best for me if I just turn it on and do it. And then I think we'll have, let's just tear this down. Oh, that's going to be perfect there. Perfect. So put that there and then I need to choose something to go over the other bit. Where's my glue? Am I on screen? Yes, good. Okay. So I'm going to grab that, put that there, like that. I think I, what I'm feeling like I might like there is um, some really old European book page because I like the contrast. So I have here this old, this old piece here. What about this? It's not wide enough. I need a wider one. Well, I've got this one. This one's wider. It doesn't have much writing on it, does it? But I'll tear it down. Oh, don't tear it down too much. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then I've got to get my bling going. So I've made my base. Okay, that's nice and then let's just have a look I keep saying that but I like so this is Bohemian Bazaar Odd On Add On Odd On Add On Part 1 there's all kinds of yummy things in here it just, there's just so much in there that you get um, you know it might take me a while to find something that's a problem okay just quickly let's look in here and see if there's anything in here that I'd like to put with my bling. Oh, that's pretty. 
too. Oh, that one's pretty. I like that one. I like that one more. Is there a smaller one in those colours? Oh, that's nice. That could be something. They're all see. They're all pretty, aren't they? But they're big. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I think I still like that one. Yeah, okay, I might do something with that one. We'll just see. Oh, what's in here? Or otherwise, these round things can be good. Right. Okay. I think I'll get a move on. It's time to get a move on. I don't think I'll look in that one. Okay, what am I going to put on here? So, what do we have that's blingy is in here? Oh, that's huge. That's too big. And I don't want to cut it. See, that could be pretty. So, I could have something like that there. Oh, isn't that a pretty pocket? Or would I like it more up there? Um, otherwise, I've got this nice. Maybe I need to trim that off. I might trim that off. Sorry. I think I might have to trim that off. It's too tall. Okay, that's better. Well, I think it's better. Because I want to fit it onto my spot. That's too much. So one or the other. That's really bright, isn't it? I kind of like those things more on a page. Just trying to see if there's anything else that might... Oh, there's more of those. And this is beautiful. I love this. See, I could use this. Just be more subtle. Just use a little piece of it. And, oh yeah, I like that. And maybe something like this. Put that there. With, how much time do I have? Oh, I've got heaps of time. I can take my time and think about it. No, I like that. I think I like that up there. Yes, so I'm gonna. Uh, that's. A, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to glue that down there. So I've got my bling on, but I need to finish it off. I don't want to just stick the bling on and say I'm done because that's not not it. But I, oh, I'm having a bit of fun. I was really, really worried about this because you saw how I struggled when I did Sarah's um, when I did Sarah's thing. Um, I did find it quite hard doing the bling. The boho th sort of thing was quite a struggle because I'm not used to it. I need to turn that glue back around just a second. I'm going to put that like that. I do like that. And I do need to get some glue under there because you don't want these sort of bits lifting up and annoying you. There we go. So I'm just going to put this upside down somewhere. And I need something else. I do. Uh, let me see. Well, I might like some of this. Just stick that there. I just need to separate. I want to put that there. Actually, I want, I want to stitch around that too. Just a second. I like that more now that it's stitched around, but I do feel like I need something else and I'm not sure what. What about a bit of this? This oh yes, this is good. A bit of cheesecloth.
Okay, yeah. That's it. Done. Got plenty of glue on there. And stick that there. I'm glad I trimmed that off. So there we go. Got a pocket there. Love that. Okay, so that's the second piece done. Very blingy they are. And then I need to make a third piece. And I was thinking I might like to make a sort of like a little, like a clustery sort of thing that you could stick down the side of a page or something like that. So we need to choose from my scrap pile here, choose a piece of fabric. Um, probably not that white. Oh, I've got this, you see. Um... I haven't put those away. I've got that piece of hemp there. Oh, that could be nice. Okay, let's have a look at those. So, quite like that. And then let's see what do we have here. Could have a piece of linen there. Maybe. I mean, I'm just testing, 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 testing. No. So put that, the nose will go back in the bag. Let's just pull out the yes, the possibilities. That's a possibility, but no, the colour's wrong, that's wrong. Um, this has a bit of bling on it, but I won't use that one. That's got no bling on it, so that doesn't count. This has bling on it. Oh, this is a possibility. Just a second, get off. Okay, well that's a possibility. Probably not so much that one. That I mean, I would put that directly on a pocket or something. Um, there's this one. Well, that's pretty. So we'll keep those out. That one's always pretty, but no. Not the yellow. Not that one. It's not. I won't use that one again because I've already used it. Those are just embroidered. They're not blingy. Um... I'm probably saying get a move on, get a move on. Um, not that one. Not that one. Hmm. It's not really doing it for me. I need a little bit of lacy. Not lacy, but doily. Not that one. Nope. Nope like that one but no it's not working I've also got this this I bought in Australia I bought it um, just at, at when I went to the quilt show I think and that's got sequins it's not Indian at all so actually I can go off the Indian tangent and I could do something a bit more Western if you know what I mean. So I could have this and I could still have some linen and I thought maybe some of this might be good. Let's just take this piece. This piece is always good for something even if it's too small for there. Let me just see. Oh I like that. very blingy and it's quite chunky though it's my only issue is it's chunky anyway I'm going to stitch those together because I like those I'm just going to zigzag down the center so at least they're together and then I can see what will go on top so that's that I like that that could go we don't want to make it too big so I said I didn't want to use the other one again I quite like this one that's what I'm going to put on there I'm going to have to glue that because otherwise you have to hand stitch it I don't think I've got enough time to hand stitch it how much time do I have five minutes I do have time maybe I'll hand stitch it on am I mad let's grab a needle Probably take me five minutes to thread the needle. Wouldn't that be fun and fresh? I 
am hand stitching it. That's what I'm doing. Got five minutes. Oh dear, I've got a knot. Good on you. I might just put a tiny bit of glue in the centre. Just a little bit. Just to help me along. Oh, I do like that. That's pretty. Okay, hand stitching it is. I'm just going to go really fast and just whip stitch it. As long as it doesn't get caught on anything. There we go. I go quiet when I sew. You don't get much conversation because I concentrate. And it's also incredibly relaxing to sew. So then there's no conversation. It's a conversation stopper. Whoops. I'm not even being neat. It's, the, it's similar colour thread. You don't have to be neat. I'm just going to capture it there because it's very, I cut, it's very, it, well I don't think I cut that but it's cut very close to the, I've got a knot, to the edge. Where's the knot? Got it. I've also got gluey fingers too so that's not helping. Let's see how long I've got. Three minutes, heaps of time. And this I would just attach in the corner of a page. Yeah, I'd attach it in the corner of a page or right, stick it right down or you could leave it as a tuck. I can't believe I got this done so quickly. That, you know, this challenge, I really thought I'd struggle, but here you go. It just, it just happened for me, so I'm very lucky. It's fraying little bits there, so I'll have to stitch it down a bit in, not around, the, not on the edge. you're all there telling me to get a move on but we've got heaps of time heaps of time plenty now I still haven't gotten to Gail's video yet I've still got to watch Gail's video um, her first one it's in my watch list I keep telling myself I'm gonna go jump ahead and watch that and I then something happens and I get distracted and forget so I think I'll do that today and also Laurie girl on the ridge is doing it too so that's really cool I can't wait to watch Laurie's. Laurie's one of those really super whizzy crafters. I reckon, Laurie, you could do... I'm going to challenge you. You could do six things in 30 minutes. How about that? <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. Oh, I love that. And I, I'm really happy that I decided to sew it down because I like the look much better than just glue. There we go. Right. And one last thing I needed to do on it, although that will stay down. Actually, no, I actually would have to glue it down in my in my book. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue under that bit of lace there. That'll stay down there. So there we go. I'm done. I've done my challenge. I have finished. Finished, finished, finished. I've got to find another challenge. Right. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let me show you the pieces that I made. So this cluster here, which is really cool. It's got a bit of western and a bit of Indian boho. And then um, this pocket, which I really love. And Or, you know, it could be like you could cover the back and make it a journaling card pocket. So there's the pocket there. Look, here's an in incomplete tag here. You can slip that in there, you see. Um, and then I made this, and I absolutely loved how this turned out. And I really winged it with that one. So that's it opens out like that. I've got a pocket there pocket there my poor little broken thing that'll stick down and then inside you've got a pocket here and you've got bling inside as well and I love that you could put another pocket there if you wanted to or it could just be for writing because that's a great spot and I probably would end up stitching that into the journal as a page and I love that and that's the back so you can write on the back as well 
really cool. So they are my three Zazzy projects. Three Zazzy projects. And they all coordinate with each other. So isn't that great? So thank you so much, Tina, for such a wonderful challenge. I've absolutely loved and enjoyed it. And I might even... Oh, there's the timer. Stop. I might even do it again. But with something different. Like alphabet, but maybe... I don't know, animals or, or as someone said, materials. Um, I would have to think about it before I started because I might get myself into trouble in the sense that if I were to say materials, but then there's some materials I don't, I don't know if I could do the alphabet of materials. I don't know. Or items. I don't know. I'd have to think about it before I started it um, so I knew what the letters were going to be, I think. Um, animal, animals could be fun. Um, yeah, I just got to see if I can find all of those things and and then we might do it again sometime. Don't know when, but sometime. So thank you so much for watching everyone and all your lovely comments and your support. And I hope you give this um, challenge a go because it's really a, fun, really a lot of fun and it really does um, get you out of your comfort zone. And doing this challenge, I have discovered new things that I now like because of Tina, because, you know, acetate, for example, there are lots of things that I've done in this challenge that, um, I'll put that over there, that I really, really now quite often use in my journals that I really enjoy. And I'm absolutely in love with these. So there you go. So thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you soon. Bye.